So most women will labor and have a vaginal delivery. For some women, they need to have a C-section because either the baby is having some distress and we need to get the baby out safely, or possibly the baby's in the wrong position to deliver vaginally, such as bottom first or breech. Most hospitals and physicians do not offer vaginal delivery in this position, but may offer you a procedure called an external version, where we attempt to turn the baby to a head down position and then allow you to have a vaginal delivery. They're gonna try and see if they can turn her, and if not, then we've just kind of come to the fact that April 24th, 7 a.m. I'm heading into the hospital for a planned c-section. For some women who've had a c-section, they may be eligible for and interested in a trial of labor after cesarean, which we call a TOLAC. If you are successful at a trial of labor, you have a VBAC, which you may have heard. VBAC stands for vaginal birth after cesarean section. Vaginal birth after cesarean can have some risks and those can include that scar on your uterus opening up and you needing an emergency cesarean. The option to have a trial of labor really depends on what kind of cesarean delivery you had the first time. All C-sections are not created equal. So if you had a C-section scar on your uterus that goes from side to side, the risk of that opening up or rupturing during labor is very, very low and the outcomes can be very high towards a successful vaginal delivery. A classical incision poses a bigger threat, a bigger risk, so it prevents you from being able to have a vaginal delivery because the risks outweigh the benefits. So those two options of a repeat cesarean delivery or a vaginal birth after cesarean are ones that you need to discuss with your provider and the two of you can come up with a plan as to how to proceed with this pregnancy.